Okay, we're being Hughes, manager of Avatar, hard win in the end. Yeah, it was tough, wasn't it? Probably tougher than we, uh, we wanted it to be. But we're down to 10 men early in the second half, changed the game slightly. I thought we were okay first half, I thought we moved the ball really well. I thought, you know, we created a couple of chances in the first half, and I was quite content with the way we performed in the first half. We're down to 10 men, changes the swing of the game and momentum. And to be fair, Michael Lewis has pulled off a couple of good saves in, in, in extra time in the 90 minutes. Um, but you know, Hollywell should be proud of the players because they, they gave it a good goal and um, they were unfortunate at the end. But we're just happy to be in the next round of the cup. In the league, they've won 24 out of 25, Hollywell, so definitely a hard place to come. Yeah, they haven't lost all season, have they? So, you know, we know it's going to be tough. I think they beat Buckley in the round before. I think they beat, they beat Newtown here last year on the way to the semi final. So, and Paul from Adding. So, we, listen, even though they're a Welsh Alliance Swan team, we understand that really they're a Cymru Alliance team. We're a top six Cymru Alliance team at that. So, we know the quality that they have with within their ranks. Um, you know, they're fortunate, I think, that a lot of the players are friends and that they want to play together. Um, and, you know, they'll be successful in the future. I'm sure they will be in the Cymru Alliance next season. How are we looking for injuries? We had Stuart Jones go down in warm up, then Sean James, Cobbashero. Yeah, it was tough with injuries, obviously. <clears throat> um, I had to change to the back four in, in during the game. Um, Stuart Jones was a doubt in the warm up, but he got through it. Uh, Sean James got injured, so Ryan Batley had to go to the centre half. Then Craig Williams was the best left winger in the league, ended up at left back. So, yeah, it did disturb us slightly, <clears throat> and we don't want to be changing uh, as much as what we did. But, um, you know, we've got a big game next week now, so it's important to make sure injuries are fine and we give it our best shot next week against Elvis. And then in the game we had Mark Jones chance straight at the keeper, a Callaway hit the bar. And both of them, both of them chances came in extra time, didn't they? So I think it demonstrates the, the fitness of the players, first of all, in terms of being down to 10 men and having chances in, in extra time. I can't believe Jeff Callaway didn't go in, and it was a great save for Mark Jones with chance as well. But, you know, to create chances being down to 10 men, having played 90 minutes, demonstrates, you know, the fitness and character of the players. And then the ability to deal with the, with the occasion and the penalties at the end, you know, obviously there was a lot of crowd behind that goal, urging Hollywell on, but Chris Lennon was sure they took so their penalties really well, and just Davis as well, so uh, testament to them. You said Mike Lewis saved three penalties. Keeps on expecting to save them in penalty shootouts. Yeah, but it's no surprise with Mike, is it? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm probably the worst player, the worst manager to, uh, worst person to uh, to have a go at him when he makes the odd mistake. But you know, he's got that quality in him. He's a great shot stopper, and we saw that today. Not only in the penalty shootout, but during the game as well. He pulled off two or three great saves, and uh, he does, deserves immense credit because he was he was a doubt today as well. He's had the flu. He's been ill. But he played through it, and obviously, I think he's glad he did. Now he's saved to three penalties, and he's the hero. You mentioned next week it's going to be a tough game against Airbus. Yeah, a tough game for Airbus. Five points there, five points behind us. So there's more onus on them to go win the game. I think. I think we're in a quite good position at the moment in terms of going up there. Uh, they brought Ricky Evans in, which offers a different threat. But then, obviously, we uh, we got good players, and we'll go up there and we'll give it a good shot.